you may think the life of our travel presenter is nothing but beaches and cocktails, but every so often Debbie Griffiths has to film experiences that scare the pants off her. She is back to tell us all about it. Good morning, Debbie. Good morning. Well, I've labelled this segment the things I thought I'd hate but actually turned out to be some of the best experiences of my life because I work with marketing companies and tourism operators to create really cool segments for you guys yeah. and to show you what their destination can offer. I mean, if I had my choice, I would be cruising on beaches and, you know, sipping cocktails all the time, but that's not great, you know, for you guys to watch. So we do some really cool stuff and it really does push me outside my comfort zone because I'm not a speed freak, I'm not an excitement kind of person, but... But I do it. <laughs> okay, well, good on you. I love a bit of adventure tourism, but I like to see what you get up to because you, you do some really cool things. And the one I remember um, you were sharing is the big rubber ball in Rotorua. Oh, yes. So that's Ogo. So I saw it and I thought, oh boy, am I going to get thrown around inside this ball? It's going to be awful. It's going to be. But I mean, look at that. It's just like a water slide, this warm water inside. So. You're not strapped in or anything. They actually fill the ball with, um, not fill, obviously, but a little bit of water in. So in winter, the water is warm. Good. And in summer, <laughs> the water is cool. And then you go down, and it's like you're in this bath going down a hill. You're not getting thrown around or anything. It's a lovely experience. My cheeks hurt from laughing after Ogo in Rotorua, so I really enjoyed it. Um, I really thoroughly think, don't just do one, do at least three because there's a sidewinder track and there's a straight down track. There's a few different options. You can even do it with someone. You need to be very good friends if you're in that ball with someone because fingers and toes end up in, you know, weird play. I'm, okay, I won't talk about that, oh, but okay. you need to be very good friends. And it's a cool experience. We stayed at Millennium in Rotorua. We ate at Epi, uh, Kata's Epicurean, uh, Kata's Epicurean, sorry, and we um, it did Polynesian Spa as well. So you could do that and cruise it out and lax out later at Polynesian Spa. Right, so you did a little bit of everything. So that sounds yep. pretty cool. Um, now, you're not a speed freak either, are you? No. And a lot of people in the studio would have loved to have done this, uh, but you were very scared when you went ahead of your visit to, it was Highland Speedway, wasn't it? That's right, Cromwell, Central Otago. Beautiful Cromwell, it's gorgeous. So on our itinerary that day was Highland's fast lap it's called and I thought oh that sounds a little fast I was so freaked out I didn't have breakfast this, that morning wow. and do you remember this take yeah. a look if you're done with serenity head to Highlands Motorsport Park apparently this McLaren can go 0 to 100 in 2.9 seconds ah! Yeah, there was a lot of screaming in that. I genuinely feared for my life. But when you're in with a professional driver like Andrew Waite was there, it's amazing. The experience was fantastic. And I spent the rest of the trip just absolutely raving and wanting the rest of my family to do fast lap like that. And they will actually take you and teach you how to drive a car well as well. So they give you a lot of skills. So I, I really recommend that. That's something I never wanted to do in a million years, but I'm so pleased I did. And you enjoyed it. it. Uh, and something in Auckland too, and still with cars, but this time you actually got to drive. Yeah, so we turned up. So this was when we were filming a Fitu Peninsula. So we stayed at Castaways and look at that, it is absolutely stunning, it's overlooking the western Karatahi beach. So we got in the car and Colin was the professional driver teaching me and the first thing he did was he got out of the driver's seat and he put me in the driver's seat and so I'm, that's me, driving up all those hills. Wow. You really learn a lot about the capabilities of a vehicle, how to drive it through mud if you ever need to and uh, going down this hill was so scary. <sighs> Did but you think that the brakes are going to fail at any stage? Well, you've got your feet off the pedals. So that's allowing the car to actually drive. And all I was doing was steering. So it's teaching you the capabilities of the brand new vehicles that you have. And uh, yeah, what they can do. And going sideways on a hill as well so that it's not going to roll. I felt like a more capable driver when I came away from that experience. It's, again, something I never, ever thought I'd actually, do. Actually, I must admit that would probably freak me out a little bit. Yeah. Uh, and you were absolutely dreading when you got to do a full day sailing. So this would be my dream. <laughs> yes. Yes, we're very opposite when it comes to sailing <laughs> because that is your dream day. But for me, a full day on the water going like this is not my dream. Now, this was when we were at Airlie Beach in the Whitsundays. It is the, called the Big Purple Catamaran for good reason because that's <laughs> what it is. So it clips along at 30 knots and there's a big net out the front and it was gorgeous. So we weren't literally on that boat all day. It took us to this gorgeous wee bay where we went uh, snorkelling amongst all the reef and the fishes and everything. We saw dolphins. It was 
gorgeous. And um, learned how to duck dive there. Uh, we stopped off at uh, Whitehaven Beach, the world famous Whitehaven Beach as well. So a beautiful day there and uh, thoroughly enjoyed it. I'd absolutely recommend it. That's gorgeous. So that's my absolutely ideal day. Oh, that's that's perfection for me. Yeah. Uh, so you were actually, you're pleased you got to try activities that you thought you'd hate. Oh, look, I have challenged myself and learned that it is really good to challenge yourself. So all these activities I never thought I'd try. If you get the right people, you know, and you get people who are looking after your safety and security, so zip lining, for example, and skiing, and you know, all these different things that I never thought I'd do. This is duck diving, snorkeling, and on the back of a motorbike, for goodness sake. I mean, I just, it really adds so much to your experience when you're traveling. Yeah. If you've got something to say, and I tried this and you know and my next experience that I really want to try is diving yes. and I am terrified but I'm determined to do it because I've really learned that pushing yourself and challenging yourself adds a lot to your travel. See you've got my dream job Debbie, <laughs> Not we should just swap places just for a little tiny bit or something. Hey thank you for that, Thanks. all those experiences, awesome travel advice as always.